Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lakshmi. So this is a continuation of the previous video. So in the previous video, I have explained about the basics of push down automata. So now we are going to solve the problem on the push down automata. That is, obtain a PDA to accept the language L of N equal to WC WR. So they accept, to accept the language of a palindrome. Palindrome means what? Reverse of a string. So to accept reverse of a string W. Reverse of string W. Where W belongs to what? A or B star. That is the alphabet set summation is equal to two symbols A and B. And which method is acting? By final state. So it's a very important question for the VTU exams. So here acceptance of a PDA that is palindrome reverse of a string by final state method. So here by final state we can the string can be accepted by an empty star or it can be accepted by the final state method. So in the previous video I have explained what is acceptance of language by final state and empty star you can refer to that. So here obtain the now how, what I should write Consider the string W, C, W, R. That is the string W solution. The string W can be anything. It's a combination of A's and B's. That is the string if it is W is A, B, B means. Reverse of W is what? You have a gateway here that is C. Reverse W raised to R. Reverse of W will be B, B, B. Suppose if my string is beginning with B, something like this. B, 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 yes. So, it is beginning with what? B. Then, you, it will be having a gateway C. What is reverse of W? Reverse of W is A, B, B. Like this. So, now how to make the, how to design the PDA to accept this language? So, to design the PDA, how do we write the transitions? We write always the transitions is equal to what? The current state. It is the current state. And the input symbol to be scanned on top of the stack we take. Based on that, we try to change the state to some new state followed by alpha. That is, we may push or pop the contents of the stack. So, this is how we write the transition. So, to take the decisions, first I should ask, uh, find out how many states my PDA will be having. What will be the content of the stack? Then how it will change this its state? So here if you consider that, now assume that whenever it is reading some input W, assume that it is in the state Q0, okay. So it will be in the state reading all the input from the string W and whenever it sees C from the state Q0, whenever it sees this gateway, it is acting as a gateway between these two. So it changes to the state Q1. From Q1, whenever it sees the next input symbol, that reverse symbol from the string W, it changes to the state Q2. Okay, guys. So, now, in the state Q1, it will be reading some inputs. Sorry, this is not Q2. In the state Q1, after changing the state, it will start reading some input from the reverse of the string. Whenever it reaches epsilon, when null of the string has been reached, then what happens? it reaches to the final state that is QF. So this is the logic guys. First you should think that how many states my PDA will be having. Just observe the string that is initially it is in the state Q0 on consuming. The string can be combination of any number of A's and B's or it can begin with B's or A's or whatever it is. So whenever it is in uh, consuming some input from W, it remains in the state Q and whenever it sees the symbol C, it changes to the state Q1 and in the state Q1, it starts consuming the reverse of the string that is W raised to R and whenever it finds epsilon null at the end, then what happens? It changes its state to QF. So, this is the logic guys you have to remember while designing the PDA for this particular language and it's a very important, very, very important question. So, hope you have understood now what I have done. Okay, now we'll write the states for this uh, uh, transitions for this particular uh, language that is 
my starting state if it is q okay initially what will be my content of the stack always remember the first symbol which is pushed to the stack will be z0 okay so the first symbol will be always on the stack will be z0 so now you are now how it will be my pda will be from the state q0 okay from the starting state q0 assume on reading the input on reading the input my first symbol either it can be a or it can be b okay so here on reading a so it remains in which state it remains in the same state so on reading a when top of the stack is what z0 what i'm going to do i'm going to move this to the stack so whatever whatever i'm going to move to the stack it becomes what then alpha so what will be the content of the stack at that point a z0 okay guys so here initially my top of the stack is z0 assume that i am taking the string so i am pushing a to the top of the stack so this is nothing but alpha or else if this is my string when top of the stack is z0 there is a possibility my first input symbol can be b okay so if my first input symbol is b when top of the stack is z0 what i do i will try to push that to the stack so that is nothing but alpha so how to write the transitions now here so from the starting state see now how i am writing the transition so from the state q0 okay now on reading a when top of the stack is z0 okay what will be my alpha i am pushing a to the top of the stack so alpha is written as a z0 it is in which state see it will be in the same state q0 itself this is one transition okay it remains in the same state q0 itself the other one is whenever my input is b that is whenever my input is b and top of the stack is z0 then what i will do i can push that to the stack so that becomes what b z0 alpha is what b z0 so i remain in which state i remain in the same state q0 itself i am in the same state q0 itself so what is the other possibility now first symbol is a i have pushed what is the next symbol present in the string b what is the next symbol present in this string it is also b now so here top of the stack is what now it is a the next symbol is what b now how to write the rule for that when my input to be scanned is what from the starting state q0 when my input to be scanned is symbol is what here b input to be scanned is b and what is the top of the stack top of the stack is a then what i will do i will push this symbol b to the stack so how to write that that is a z0 sorry this is i am pushing b to the top of the i am push uh, top of the stack so it means that this becomes what now when it becomes b a top of the stack now here it is b a all the a is there and this is b now my alpha is changed okay so it is what now b a what is the other possibility when uh, when my input to be scanned suppose if my input is a okay if my input is a and what will be the top of the stack b so i have to push that to a to the stack okay even that possibility also is there so when it is when my input to be scanned is when my input to be scanned is a okay if my input to be scanned is here a and top of the stack is what b and what i'll do i'll push that to the stack so it becomes what ab okay guys what are the other possibility my input can be here the other possibility when it is b my input can be a also yes or no even that is also possible that is when a when b is there i may try to push a and when a is there again i may try to push b or i may try to push a so for all possibilities we have to include the transition so then what is the next case i have to write q0 this is a a already we have written q0 a a and b when both are a's it means that i may have i may be having a string like this 
a a b or i may be having a string like this b b a so this kind of strings are also possible so how to write the transitions for that from the state q not already assume that we have pushed b and the next symbol to be scanned is also b so here if in the state q not okay on reading a when top of the stack is also a i am trying to push that to the stack so that is nothing but a a or my already i have pushed b to the stack and next symbol to be pushed is also b see yes already i have pushed b to the stack top of the stack the next symbol to be scanned is also b so here my input is b and top of the stack is b then what i'll do i'll push that to the stack so then this becomes what b b so all possibilities i should check so here are already 1 2 3 4 5 6 transition it remains in the same state q not itself q not when it whenever it is after scanning all the input from the w when it finds c then only it will change this to the state q1 so in the state q not if any of these inputs are given it remains in the same state q not itself now the next symbol is what whenever it finds c q not on finding c okay if it finds c then what it should do it should change to the next what it has to do it has to change the state so q not on c whenever it finds okay the what are the possibilities when there is null input summation star when it is null when top of the stack is z not when there is no input at all that possibility also we have to take because it is star is given here so here if no input in the string then what happens here top of the stack will be what z not only c will be there no string w then what happens top of the stack will be z not itself so this is to represent the star epsilon transition so what is the other possibility whenever it finds c top of the stack can be or it can be a anything is possible in this case the top of the stack is b then only it is scanning the symbol c and in this case the top of the stack is a and then only it is scanning the c so both the possibilities we have to take into consideration so whenever the input to be scanned is c and top of the stack is a what it should do now it should not do anything that a remains as it is just we have to write a it means just it has to move from q1 to the next symbol w raised to r so whenever it finds this just what it has to do when top of the stack is a or b it has to move to the next symbol that's all so we have we are not pushing anything or we are not popping here in the same state it remains as it is then again c comma b if top of the stack is b just the top of the stack remains as it is b itself you need not try to take the alpha so now you are in which state now you are going to the state q1 where it is going it is going to the state q1 whenever it finds the c it moves to the state q1 so this is the labels for this arc now you are in which state now you have changed the state to you are to the state q1 on reading c in the q1 state to take the reverse this is nothing but what w raised to r this is reverse of the string so whenever it takes the first b from this it should find the corresponding b on the stack okay so if it is b here it should find a matching b there then only it can be deleted similarly whenever it finds a it should find a matching a on top of the stack to delete the element now you it scans the user input what is the first symbol here it is b it will take b and it will check the top of the stack b if corresponding b is there then what it will do it will delete that b again b is there corresponding b is there it will delete it if a is there corresponding a it will delete it and whenever it finds epsilon on top of the stack is z not it moves to the final state so how to write the transitions for that in the state q1 now where it is it is in the state q1 in the state q1 when top of the when the input to be scanned is a see corresponding a and corresponding b we should write when the input to be scanned is a and the input top of the stack is also 
A means what we have to do? We have to pop it. Pop is shown as how here? Pop is shown as epsilon. So here we write it as epsilon to represent the pop operation. Similarly, when the input to be scanned is B and top of the chalk is also B means what we have to do? We have to delete that element from the, delete that symbol from the chalk. So B, B. When both are common, see here, corresponding A, reverse. B, like this if it finds, it has to be deleted. So here if it finds any of this, what it will do? It remains in the same state Q1 itself. It is remaining in the same state when input is A and top of the stack is A, delete it. When input symbol is B and top of the stack is also B, delete it. So we have written the transition. So this will be continuously repeated for any number of A's and B's given in the string W. Finally, when the string becomes null, that is whenever the end of the string has reached, it has reached epsilon. It is in which state? It is in the state Q1. So in the state Q1, epsilon, when all the elements have been popped, the stack of top will be what? Z0. So when the no input to scan, it has reached the null, epsilon, okay, end of the string, and top of the stack is Z0, then what it has to do? The contents of the stack remain same as it is. It will change to the next state. So that is Q2. It is our final state now. Okay, guys. So it has changed to the final state, Q2. So this is our final configuration. Okay, guys. So this is how the transitions are written. When the end of the string from the state Q1, in the state Q1, when it finds epsilon, it is moving to the final state QF, that is Q2. And contents of the stack should be what Z0. So this is the problem q2 so now we have wrote all the transitions finally how to write the mission m for this problem now whatever we have written there all the transitions are very very important finally you have to list out all the transitions So what are known transitions I have written from the beginning? We have to list out all the transition. That is transition right from the beginning. This is the first two transitions we wrote. That is transition from Q0 on reading A. The top of the stack is Z0. Where it was moving, it is in the same state Q0 itself. A Z0. Then transition from Q0. What is the next one? B Z naught. B comma Z naught is equal to what? Q naught. It is in the same state Q naught itself. Content alpha. What is alpha here? Alpha was B Z naught. Similarly, write for the all the transition. Transition from this to Q naught on A. You have pushed A or B means. Then top of the stack will be A. So it remains in the same state. It is A A. Transition from Q0, comma, BB, top of the stack is B, so it remains in the same state Q0 itself, alpha is nothing but BB. Then what is the other possibility in the state Q0, input is A and top of the stack is B, these two possibilities. So it becomes what now, Q0, comma, AB. Transition from Q0, on B, okay, when top of the A, B we have written, next possibility is B, A. Input is B and top of the stack is A means what we do, we try to push that to the stack. Not comma, B, A. So this here, B, A. So we wrote all this. Then what are the other transitions we have written? These two transitions, these three transitions, all the transitions you write uh, finally, that is very important. So here, from the state, from the state Q0, okay, in the state Q0 only on reading C, when top of the stack is Z0, top of the stack is Z0, what it is doing, it is changing its state to Q1 and Z0 remains the same. 
transition from q0 on reading c q0 on c q0 on c when top of the stack is a q0 on c and top of the stack is a where it is moving it is in the same state q0 and the input remains the same the next transition from q0 when c when top of the stack is b it is in the same state q1 and the input b remains as it is okay guys what are the next transition from q1 write those transition transitions from q1 on b when top of the stack is b where it is going it is in the same state q1 itself what it is doing it is performing the pop operation transition from q1 on a comma a here a comma a it is doing what pop operation in the same state we are performing the pop operation then what is the final configuration is very important the last configuration that is transition from q1 when no string is there top of the stack is z0 what it should do it should move to the state q2 and here q2 come what will be the content of the stack it will be z0 okay guys it will be z0 the stack has become null top of the stack will be z0 if this is the case acceptance of a language by a final state it means that from the starting state q0 it has reached the final state q2 so the last configuration is important q1 to q2 it is going and the stack content is not null here stack is what here z0 so this is acceptance of a pda by the final state method here stack content you should not make null because acceptance of the pda by the final state so it is reaching the final state so this is the transition functions for the pda what is our starting state q0 which is our final state here q2 so you have to write all these transitions very important all these transitions followed by which is your final state so that is the end of the problem hope you have understood please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment thank you